Hello, how's it going guys? How are you all doing today? <laughs> um, I realized that I don't have my headphones connected. Come on. Hooray! It's connected. That's good. Um, how are you guys doing? Um, I am going to admit I'm already stoned, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Also, I am taking bets. How many streams do we think I'm going to finish this in? I think two. But I don't know. Thank you. I wanted to do something cute, and this felt fun. Um, and I put on my false eyelashes because I wanted to feel cute. So... Let me bat them at you. <laughs> I can't bat them too much, otherwise they'll come off. They're just held on with magnets. So. I think two and a half because the parquet puzzle is a stream unto itself. No. No, I have planned for the parquet puzzle. Don't worry about it. Um, I've done this before. I've done this before. <laughs> Um, you guys just can't see it, um, when it gets big, but it's gonna have to happen. Yes, yes. XWND was making, what are we naming numbers for? Stream, how many streams do you think it's gonna take me to finish it? Uh, because I, I cut the line out of the video I just put up. Of saying that it took me longer to edit that five minute video than it did to play the game. <laughs> but it's true. Which, by the way, if you guys haven't gone and seen, um, uh, we're starting a new series on the channel where we do a five minute review on YouTube of a game we played on stream. Uh, the first one just went live today, which is for Grits King Kill Remastered. Um, and I'm a bit brutal on it. And I'm already making progress on um, the one for Stay Tuned for Danger, which will come out next week. So, uh, we'll see. <laughs> I support two and a half, and the half is followed by TKO filled with message in a haunted mansion references full of lesbianism. <laughs> Okay, so everyone's everyone's making their making their bets. Most people are saying two, two and a half. Why am I? Up? Lisa, don't. I was like, time to just open this up so I can drink. No, there's a straw. Okay, so I have. Oh, that's another thing. Where did I leave it? I printed out myself my uh the notebook it's it's uh it's with my pattern that I made and um I made stickers go in the corners um I do have a crystal skull uh thing planned but I'm probably going to release the crystal school one in may um because that's when the game takes place but i made little stickers for each of the things that i'm putting all of my notes neatly putting them in after the fact so that's what i have so far um but i made a bunch of the stickers for myself because i'm bribing myself to do things with stickers so, I want you guys to appreciate that. <laughs> but we're going to be taking notes today in 
this guy. I also made myself some stickers that say all of the... Th I'll go get them. Sorry, give me one. Nancy's like, where are you going? Um, but I made myself stickers. Um, with all of the things Nancy says with her task with her task list. And for my daily like to-do lists, if I finish everything on the to-do list, I get like I'm finished with that or a check mark or check or done. But if I didn't finish everything, I'm still rewarding myself with a sticker. Of like, haven't done that yet. See? Either way, it keeps me wanting to use the journal. So that's what I'm that's what I'm currently doing. And yes, I did in fact use Thank you so much for the raid. Nice. What were you guys playing? Yeah, we're just about to get started. I was showing everyone off, showing off to everyone what I've been doing with my, um, uh, <laughs> my, not cricket, but it's an alternative. So I made, I'm making myself stickers for my own planner sheets. <laughs> but yes, we're going to play Message in a Haunted Mansion. Um, you guys were playing Tomb of the Lost Queen. Awesome. That is definitely a game. I hope you were enjoying it. Ooh. Okay, there it is. Making sure. It would be window capture. Yes, okay, perfect. Okay, let's do this. We're all betting that I'm gonna take two and a half streams to do this, so I think two streams. So I'm hoping we can just do it. Nancy Drew. How is the uh, volume? Cyber mystery. Message in a haunted mansion. Message in a haunted mansion. If you're new to it, it's quiet. Dear Bess, hello from stormy San Francisco. This time I'm staying in a beautiful Victorian mansion. You'd love the room. Sorry, I think it might be the issue. It might be my headphones making things Sorry. Coming back, I promise. My other headset is in a mess. <laughs> How did I do this? How did I get it this messy? Literally, I'm just so... What the fuck? Lisa? audio was crackly for me yes it is the ikea one it's my husband's but let's plug this directly in also plugged in a speaker I no yeah okay stop it Okay, hopefully I have to restart the game. Try this again. Okay, yeah, that's a lot better for me. One second. <laughs> Very good on brand. You know, just, it is what it is. 
on. Come on. OBS, please. There we go. Jesus Christ. Okay. Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Welcome to my Pause latest the cyber mystery. Message in a haunted mansion. Yeah, it was so crazy. Choose your difficulty before. level to start off. If you're new to adventure games, you might want to click on the tutorial okay. button to learn how. Yeah, it was my headphones. Dear from guys, here. Hello from stormy San Francisco. This time I'm staying in a beautiful Victorian mansion. You'd love the room <sighs> I'm in. It's full of old Chinese furnishings and some interesting the knickknacks. Used to scare me too. The owner of the house, Rose Green, the is a friend of Hannah eight, and asked so me to like come out and help her with some renovation work. She and her friend Abby hope to turn the place into a bed and breakfast by next month. Wow. But from what I gathered, Rose isn't sure if she can open oh in time. Ever since they started the renovations, they've had a lot of accidents. Could it be just bad luck, or is there something more sinister at work? <laughs> I'm sure I'll find out. Love, Nancy. I'm sure I'll find out. Okay. The, the bet, everyone, is how many streams is it going to take me to finish this game? Two or three? I should already just start writing these down. Just, I already know. I already know I'm going to need to write it down. I've had this pen since I was in fifth grade. You think I can do it in one? Oh, probably not. I am, uh... It'll be good enough. Good enough. Okay. Sure is a dragon. Okay. Oh, for some reason I thought you could look at this. Why so accidents? Why so many? House. Amazing. Who's who? Rose, owner of house. Not owner of the house, but owner of house. We gotta keep this as brief as possible. Listen, my child, to this story of dreams, and know that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. Yes, Nancy. When the ten okay. daughters are reunited in order, when the four-sided box loses its border, when the eye of the phoenix is in your hand, when the bird of fire can see again, when the moon sleeps and the sun plays, the king of the sky will shine his ray, and hidden beneath a river of colors will lie a gate to golden wonders. Yeah, okay. Shh. Daughters. Or I fire moon king river. Beginning daughters for I fire king gold. Perfect. And we already have daughters. Sure, that's kind of what it looks like. Perfect. Nancy sounds so impressed by that poem. She does. She sounds very impressed by most things in this game.
So, do you guys want me to kill Nancy? <laughs> no, it's too irritating. Let's go talk to Rose. Talk to Rose. Let's go on and talk to Rose. Hi, Rose. Oh. Hello, Nancy. I'm Hello, very glad Nancy. you come out here. We can really use your help, seeing how far we are behind schedule. Are you all ready to do some renovation work? I sure am. I can't wait. Last night, you mentioned some accidents. What exactly I happened? Going. I don't know where to begin. I don't it know where. With she says it where. Irritating things. But then the scaffolding collapsed, and just last week we had a gas leak. I really don't know whether I can stand much more of this. I would love to have, have a week without Thank any you accidents. again for the raid. Does anyone forget this game just looks like this? Yeah, sometimes. It's, it looks a lot better in my memory when I have rose tinted glasses on. I thought that said fuck for a second because I saw frustration and luck. I think it's just bad fuck. I can understand your frustration, Rose. Do you think it's just bad luck? I'm not one to believe in bad luck. It's not bad it's luck. Someone's sabotaging me. Another. Maybe Charlie doesn't have the expertise for these renovations, but his rates are so affordable. I sometimes wonder, though, if this old house would be worth more burned to the ground. Enough chit chat. Don't say stuff Hannah like that. tells me you're a real pro with puzzles. Hey, Take you guys a ready? Corner. Those wood tiles should fit inside the inlay pattern of the floor. Abby and I tried for hours, but it's just too complicated. I'm sorry for not introducing you around, but everyone posts their schedule here in the dining room. It's kind of like Command Central. Let me know how far you get with that puzzle. And it's my center of operations. Helping us, Nancy. The dining room. Um, okay, so. We're going to save. Oh! Nope. Okay. Um, what do we want to call it? Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, nope. Cancel. Okay, done. Exit game. Because I need to now open this in its actual... I just need to open it and it's actual. Ugh. It's giving me that system cannot keep. Yes, okay. Jesus Christ. God, you're kidding me. Can't I run it as, as administrator? I hate this life. We're just, okay, well, we're gonna have to do this the hard way. It's gonna be slightly out of aspect ratio. And by slightly, I mean, oh boy. Okay. Oh, come on. OBS, please. There we go. So we're gonna... Gonna do it like this, just for the moment. Okay, this should work. N <laughs> okay, the 
this one doesn't go here. I'll just leave it there for the moment. Oh, come on. Hate this life. Okay, we'll pinch it there for the moment. Well, this one goes next to this one, wherever they go. there, we'll place it properly. Yes. I don't know why I did that. Okay, now we have to go by and adjust them all. Oh, you guys. Oh. So that one's done. Definitely goes there, though. I know that one's set, but this one isn't then. It's not lighting up! It's silly since I know it goes there. Because it's not at the right aspect ratio, it's like so difficult. Huh! 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 Fuck you! Okay. Woo! That one's in place. I did that one, right? Yes, that one's in place. This one's in place. This one still isn't. <sighs> okay. And yet these are all lighting up. What am I doing wrong? Which one have I not done properly? Is it this one still? Yeah, no, you don't understand. You don't understand. 
I already know that this is just what I have to put up with. There is no starting over with this puzzle. It's gonna be like this every fucking time. Does that non-triangle one flip? I did that. I tried it. And I think this side fits better, wood grain texture-wise, but it's still just not lighting up, and if it's not lighting up, I can't- it won't accept it. See, and then that one keeps lighting up. I hate you. Okay, well. Oh, because there's nothing I've done. Go back to here. Hi. What is... I haven't... I'm gonna force the window to be 1440 by 1080. Then it should retain aspect ratio, so I won't have that bit of it. Okay. Yeah, sure, I don't care. It'll be in front of me a little bit. Who cares? I don't. Okay. I'm like really, woo, woo, okay. This should make it easier, but, oh, now my brain is not working properly. Because it goes over here, I guess? of shit. I hate you. Okay. We'll come back. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. I just had it wrong last time. User error. Last time was user error. And if you think this isn't going in my view, you're wrong. I feel like I'm playing Scram right now. It goes there. We've had it light up. Oh, come on, you piece of... Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna scream!
Oh my god. We'll come back to you. That can't be right. Everything else has to be so flush. You're fucking kidding me. Okay. I did it. Woo! Guys, it took me less than half an hour to do that. I'm calling that a fucking success. We are saving the game. Oh, lordy. that inlay puzzle coming along i finished it wonderful but now i've got something else for you i'm just gonna I set up a ladder upstairs so you can chip off the broken tiles on the hallway ceiling you'll need to look around for a chisel or paint scraper for Good the news. job i'm not sure where charlie keeps them i don't need to talk to charlie i can see you're busy i'll let you go bye nancy bye nancy Yeah, you can just be like, hey, I didn't do it. I'm just gonna see how far I can go without having to talk to, like, half of these people. I remember feeling so, like, satisfied when we found that as kids. I always go for the squeaky one on purpose. I need a paint scraper. Ma'am. It's locked. It's locked. Wrap that emote in chat for me. No, oh, that was the way I wanted to go. How are the tiles coming along? I'm all finished, but you should know what Thank I you, found. Chat. I'm sure it's very interesting, but unless it's really important, I've got other things to worry about. Let's see. If you're any good at fixing things, there's a dumbwaiter in the hallway that's not working. Well, I can't fix that until you get me the key for the attic because I need the iron that's in the attic, okay? I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. So long. So long, and thanks for all the fish. I have to look at these things because they trigger stuff. I think probably. When a bird of fire can fire. see again. Ma'am, I already know. remember hello I can see you're busy I'll let you go don't work too hard uh yeah I know you're not I thought I'd be able to talk to her about fire insurance uh yeah uh-huh okay weird but okay I mean I know the purpose of this but There we go. I was like, how do I leave? <laughs> Hi. 
Hi, you must be Nancy. My name's Charlie. It's Ned. We kidnap him and make him Ned. Let's first be able to zoom in on that. It gives us the idea that um, there might be something in the four poster bed. Nice to meet you. Rose and Abby really have their hands full with this house. Yeah, most of these Victorian mansions need a lot of work, but I don't mind getting my hands dirty, you know? This place will look great once it's finished. His eyes, his eyebrow is so straight across. I can't do it. Sorry, I got distracted. Oof. I can see that. But what do you like to do when you're not renovating Victorian mansions? Any hobbies? Well, I'm taking classes at the local community college. I really like history. That's why it's neat to live. I, I mean, work here. Because everything is so old. It's got real character. We just let him get, like, we don't, we don't say anything, really. Yes, do it. Yes, do it. You have to. What do you know about the history of this what house? What do you know Not much. about the uh, history? Lewis told me it was built in the 1880s and that it survived the 1906 earthquake. Who's Lewis? He's an antique dealer, I, I think. I guess he does consulting <laughs> work think. for those like, oh. you know, Victorian furnishings and stuff. <laughs> I don't employ him. I don't have to know what he does. Do you have any idea why there's been so many accidents on this project? I have no idea. People are blaming me, but it's not my fault. I know what I'm He's doing. A, what, what I they know call how him? to do this work. In Listen, England's Nancy, Cowboy I really Builder. need to get back to work. I'm repairing some floorboards, so oh, be ejected. careful walking around. Rose is looking for you earlier. Maybe she has something for you to do. See ya. I've already done everything that she wants me to do. It's stuck. It's 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 that's where it melted. It's stuck. Was it so wrinkled like that? Well, he's sleeping underneath the bar. Uh huh. Yeah, we know. I'm not reading that. Affordable housing. Wow. That's actually like. It's really good of them because that is literally what was happening. And that's the start of basically Airbnb's like whole situation. And it's like how bread and bed and breakfasts all got bought up the affordable housing in San Francisco and it's just kind of shit. Hello, Nancy. I see you've arrived safely from your long journey, but I'm sensing an aura of danger around you. I can tell you're an inquisitive type, a little skeptical. And that you don't believe in ghosts. And yeah, you, you just heard that from Hannah. I sense a very strong but restless spirit within these walls. And a restless spirit can soon become an angry spirit. Does your intuition tell you who could be I'm behind just gonna be a these bitch. recent accidents? I'm not sure. But for some reason, the name Valdez has a strong connection with this mansion. Yeah, okay. Well... You'll be the first to know if I find a ghost floating over my bed. Do you dare mock the supernatural? Yeah! <laughs> Just bear in mind what I've told you about this place. Spirits of the deceased can do unimaginable harm, especially to those who don't believe. Ma now, if you will please excuse me, I need to prepare myself for this evening. At that time, more will be revealed. Yeah, that's okay. I, you know, I'm good. Is uh, Lewis even there? Can I do this already? Yes, I can.
Oh, right, something I cannot read. Um, so... Hey, Diego, I've waited so long for your return, but have kept our treasure true. Treasure true here in the... something? Here in the... tool you'll need to find it. May your rain? Rainbows never run out of luck. The stars and moon will shine on you. And, okay, that bit's just the thing. Risa cosplays Abby when? Don't tempt me. Which one does this correspond to? Because I have no idea. Moon? Moon. Moon. It corresponds to moon, I think. Because this is talking about the moons. like going so in depth on these for no reason. I guess I'm just like Yeah, more or less. Taking at me. Hey. Go meet the only person we haven't met yet. And also... to know it's here. Good to know it's here. Creepy chair? What is the creepy chair? There we go. Creepy chair. Fit. It won't fit. Well. The theory of music. Oh no, I already know this. <laughs> but thank you. I, I appreciate the offer. Also known as the Firebird. Oh shit. History of the piano? I know. Don't. It's fine. Don't have to tell me. Hey, when four. the four sided box loses its border.
blow dryer going on outside. I got really, I keep getting really in depth on these for some reason. I'm just like, yes. Yes, yes. I don't care. Where's the tile? Did I miss the tile? Where did the tile? I could swear it was in, one of them was in here. Ah, there it is. I was like, no, there's totally a tile in here. He's not here until sometime. I don't know. I'm gonna go pry open my uh, bed post. I see you. Well, fantastic spook. noise to have. What's this key go to? Is that the key to the upstairs? Let's try it. It's locked. It's locked. It's not that one. It's locked. Okay. Well, I don't know what key this is for. Truly, no idea. It's missing an eye. Oh, the ghost chair in the entryway. So wrapped up in my book, I didn't hear you come in. My name is Lewis Chandler. And he just stops there. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm Nancy Drew. I came out to help Rose and Abby with the renovations. Yes, well, I'm very glad you're here. Uh, okay, um... Are you a friend of Rose? Yes, I like to think so, but I'm an antique dealer, and a client told me that Rose and Abby had recently acquired the estate. I'm an authority on the Victorian era, so they were only too happy to let me use the library in exchange for my advice on the renovations. How fucking weird. You must know a lot about the house's history. Actually, I'm a bit in the dark about this particular property. However, as far as Victorian mansions go, I don't see anything remarkable about this one. What are you using the library for? Research. This library- She sounded so suspicious. What are you using the library the great for? Earthquake. It was quite a find for a student of the Victorian period, such as myself. What are you looking for in these books? That's so weird. What do you think could be the cause of these accidents Rose has been having? Accidents? I know Rose has mentioned some inconveniences like that wall covering and the light supplies, but I would hardly call those accidents. I'm sorry, but I'm quite busy at the moment. And although I'd like to Bitch. talk, I really don't have the time. Please, excuse me. Bitch. Amazing. Rose, 
And I don't even remember what this this uh, key is for. Hey, hey, we're getting all the spooks. Hello. Oh. How did you find Charlie? He just showed up what one day. What was the reading it was on really that? really odd. I remember Abby and I were in the basement talking about hiring someone to help us. 20 minutes later, the doorbell rang and there stood Charlie, looking for work. How fucking weird. Uh, okay. How do you know Lewis? He stopped by one day to introduce himself. He seemed awfully curious about our property, but he's an antique dealer specializing in the Victorian period. She has period. no sense he's of self-preservation. He's extremely helpful advising us on authentic decor. Like, what? How did you meet Abby? She was the drama coach back in River Heights, and we worked on a couple of plays together. My bid on this house was too low, so she pitched in her savings to help me get the place. If it weren't for Abby, I couldn't have afforded this place. Yeah, that's yeah. Have you yeah, heard of everything? Named Why not? Applegate. No, I haven't. Where did Abby find no, those I haven't. papers that are in the parlor? She told me they were in her room, which surprised me since it was completely empty when we moved in. Now the room you're staying in was crammed with furniture. I think most of it was original with the house. Have you found any rainbow designs in the house? Rainbows? No. Not that I can remember. What is Abby planning for what tonight? Is Abby planning? She's putting on some kind of seance tonight to contact these ghosts or whatever she thinks is causing all of these accidents. I Amazing. can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Take care. Take care. The rope is cut. The rope is cut. The rope is cut. The rope is cut. Sorry. She just says that in such a bizarre manner. It's just, the rope is cut. Hey, Nancy. I really need to finish this up. Sorry. Wow. All right, I already looked at that. Wow. What is that? And I can't even go spy in Abby's room yet. So I'm gonna have to just go, I went the wrong way. Get snooping. Yep. That. Something's missing here. Something's missing here. Something's missing here. Is it? reason for that. Felt like it. 
amazing. For directive publishing. Amazing. Okay, I'm just gonna take a picture of this one real quick. I don't I don't have the time to waste. I'll draw it later. Oh. Missing here. I straight up can't do it yet. Okay. Unless I'm missing something. When does Charlie leave? I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Don't work too hard. Five PM. Okay. It's an eight to five, I guess. And I'm hungry. into the alarm clock. to the who knows it's stuck it's stuck love that as Nancy I'm just walking around opening things closing things constantly you read this one uh, I don't think so but I don't really care all of the spooks I like making it squeak, okay? It's locked. Hell yeah. Not anymore, bitch. Lots of old bottles up here. Nancy being like, oh, you know what could fix that dumbbell? Just a good old iron found next to a baby's head. I can't read that. I am in incapable of reading that, so hope it wasn't important. Okay. 
There we go. It's locked. It's locked. Oh my God. There we go. Jesus Christ. Mine now. There's something hidden here. Yeah. It is B E G A G. Oh, it's just B E G A G. B D. No, wait, no, no, no. I was right. I'm only doing these ones. Okay. So it is B E G A G. I guess I'll write it down. B E G A G. B. B gag. Big gag. I should have just remembered it as Bagag. Derek and Francesca, huh? Yeah, whatever the fuck this says. an easter egg but it freaks me out so I'm not gonna get it no Risa Risa, please. Risa? There we go. I'm gonna look up a video, only non-freaky eggs for Risa. Thank you. Dragon Eye Pottery. Glad they did that in uppercase for him. to know what it's supposed to look like. It's fine. When the eye of the phoenix is in your hand. Hey, Nancy. Okay. Okay, let's go down to the basement. It's so dark in here.
brunch break real quick, mostly because I have to pee. So, everyone, get up, stretch, do whatever you need to do for your well-being. I return. Nancy had the gall to break in while I was peeing, and then she shut the door inside of it with me. I'm like, ma'am, come on. See you're busy. I fix the doing? dumb waiter, Hi, bitch. No one ever appreciates me. I'm so right, I'm so rude. Oh, you know what I just realized? I haven't actually. It's fine. No, I didn't. I have no idea. I'm not gonna read that. The game is just, you know, trying to make me read things. I'm not here for it. Okay, good. The man is gone. It won't fit. Won't fit, bitch. Consider trying for yourself. Perfect. Glad this lantern is. I don't, I, you know, there's nothing to look at right now, Nancy. Not that that worries you. Child. We're getting there. Yeah, more or less. 
I know that's what I'm saying with all of them, but... I'll come back to that. I don't remember when the seances, and I also know that in the past I have just somehow avoided doing it. Um, you know, because it's optional, I guess? Just steal his fucking term paper. Dear Mom and Dad, Sorry I haven't written a while, but things have been really busy. I'm working now, fixing up an old house. I'm learning a lot, and I'm very proud of the work I'm doing. I'm still in between places, so I'll let you know when I settle my... What, what my address is once I settle down. Say hi to Grandma. Charlie. King. Man, I'm just hungry. <laughs> that one's the easiest so far. Other than four, four was pretty easy as well. that. Huh. I didn't remember that that connected. Interesting. Well, time to go steal this boy's term paper. I'm smart. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just getting confused, and that's okay. It happens. Lost and confused, am I right? Despite having the mini-map open, I'm still somehow getting used.
antiques. I apologize. How do I put it in? It worked! Okay. Yeah, sure. Huh? It's great, dude. Briefcase. Oh wait, no, it's not here. He's not here anymore. There is no briefcase. Okay, what do I do now? What on earth do I do now? wish to speak to you Nancy tonight hey. I will channel their energies to deliver a message meet me down in the basement if you dare please sit down we really don't have time for this let us begin we are gathered here tonight I to just contact the shades of those who have passed before us gaze into the crystal ball it will answer all of our questions what's that Who has called me forth from the great beyond? We have. Are you the spirit known as Valdez? I was once called that in the world of the living. Are you the spirit who has caused these accidents? I have come back searching for her, my wife. Where can she be? The spirits have spoken. The seance is over. We've got a busy day tomorrow, and no more time for these games, Abby. And make sure you blow out the candles on your way up. I don't want to wake up and find the house on fire. Rose talks about fire constantly. Have you guys noticed that? Oh, someone's sending me fan mail. Perfect! Thank you! Everyone loves giving me, like... Very nice, very nice. Tell me that's fake. I could swear. See? There we go. Jesus Christ. Navigation in these older games is rough. Hey. There we go. Jesus Christ. Yeah, she just leaves it here, apparently. With <laughs> Abby's podcasting equipment. Yeah. Sure. 
interactive again. That. Hmm. Looks a bit on the uh, sketchy side there. sleep until then. Noon. Okay. Well, let's just go sleep till noon then. Sounds good. That's where they should sell their merch shop OG Her designed mugs. Yes! With 100% they need to sell some of this stuff. I just think that they should... Talk to me when planning merch. It's stuck. I know that's what I do. I hear a moan coming out of there. I'm like, okay, let's see if I can get this ghost that's stuck in there out. Nancy's just trying to, you know. Free the ghosts. And then take a nap. And by nap, I mean sleep for the next while. I only kind of apologize. still unsure of when I'm able to look at that. Just as an aside. I I don't remember any of the uh, triggers for this game. It's true. In-universe, her interactive is a sponsor for Pacific Run. When you're in the Puzzle Palace or whatever it's called. Why, hello. Pacific Rim. <laughs> no. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh oh. Oh no, it's a fire. Oh god. How do I get over there? Fuck. How the fuck do I get over there? How do I do it? Guys, hi. Hello? Why am I incapable of going over there? Fire. Thank you for the raid, Anaya Falcon. It's too late, yes. I almost got I to that to end. Everybody in the house, and none of them can figure out what caused the fire. Maybe I should take Lewis's How advice How was your stream? Cut my losses before it's too late. What advice? What advice? He has a client who might want to buy the place. Someone with more experience and money to finish wow. all the renovations. Uh, but what did the what did the fire, fire department, department say? say? They think the fire was caused by sparks from the fireplace, since it doesn't have a screen. And I specifically told Charlie to buy one. How could he have forgotten? No, I am bound and determined to stick with this house no matter yeah. what. Nothing can drive me away. I don't care if it's fires, earthquakes, or Mr. Valdez with his gang of ghosts. Yeah. Excuse me for prying, but why did you spend so much money to insure the house against fire? For protection. Ow. I've put my entire life savings into this house, and if it goes up in smoke, I'll lose everything. Oh, give me a second. I have to...
scroll up in chat. And it's not letting me. Okay, there we go. Love how we brought the chaos and you're dealing with fires. Yep. <laughs> nice. Okay. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Goodbye. Goodbye. God, she has the worst intonations of the entire cast, I have to tell you. Like, I hope we all agree here. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Nancy. I hear there's been another accident. You've got to believe me, I didn't have anything to do with it. I just hope Rose doesn't blame me for this one. Yeah, I don't really want to talk to you. I'll let you get back to your renovation. Later. I'm just gonna leave him alone. <laughs> this, okay. She... This is when she kidnaps Charlie and turns him into Ned. I hope we all understand that. Okay. Now that it's done being on fire... Ah, Nancy, what a shame to have lost those papers. And to think that we almost lost the house. Rose is very fortunate okay, to have, have you to here. Have you seen huh? the poem in my room? Oh, that one. Yes, it's just some cheap Chinatown souvenir. I was wondering whether you knew anything about um, someone named Eve Valdez. Eve Valdez. Tower, I think. Valdez. No, I've never heard of that name. But I'll jot it down and let you know if I come across it anywhere. What kind of antique store do you own? It's a gallery, not a store. And it's called Chandler Interiors, specializing it's in the It's a gallery, not period. a store. I have clients from all over the world, Sir. and if I don't have what they're looking for, I find it. Okay. Was this house once a hotel? That's hard to say. The house has been renovated many times, but several of its original features, such as the saloon and staircase, seem to indicate that it may have been a hotel. Unfortunately, there are no records on this house before 1906. Do you know what a phoenix is? Yes, I'm just gonna say everything. I'm not paying attention to anything that's that going on. It's a nest every 500 years and then sets itself on fire to rise forth, reborn from its ashes. It's a very popular symbol in the Bay Area. In fact, there's one on the main staircase. There's one on the main staircase. Do you think Rose should sell the house? I leave that decision up to her. She's put an extraordinary amount of time and money into it, and I'm not sure if she can afford what it'll take to complete the renovations. But whatever her decision, I will assist her however I can. Do you know who Lizzie Applegate was? Yes, I certainly do. She was a very popular actress in the late 1800s. She was very generous and left all of her money to the Ladies' Protection Society. I like society. how we could ask about what that before he mentioned Protection it. was the Ladies' Protection Society? A popular charity in the early 1900s. They helped widows and orphans. I won't keep you any longer. Goodbye, Nancy. Goodbye, Nancy. Okay. I, I guess I should talk to people. I don't really want to talk to Charlie, though. He's not, like, very helpful. And to be real, I just don't want to but I guess we can talk to Abby hi Nancy I can't believe we had a fire I can't believe it I bet Charlie was down there before it started why would someone want to destroy those I, papers? you know I, I guess mean, I'm just why gonna would talk someone to everyone want to destroy about everything. the house and you know what and you know I what I think of a million reasons why are you just like insinuating? What do you mean? What do you mean? Never mind. It doesn't concern you. Does she actually think that Rose is trying to like collect on insurance money? Is that what she actually believes? I'm wondering. That's fascinating. I found out how you rigged the seance table with a projector. <laughs> that was a pretty good show you gave. Okay, so I staged part of the seance. Part of the but seance. that still doesn't mean this place isn't haunted. Seances were very popular during the Victorian era, and I plan to entertain our guests with them. It'll be a great way to promote the place. What, what kind, kind of person, person is Charlie? Charlie? 
He seems to feel bad about all of these mishaps. Ugh, it's clear to me that Charlie's totally responsible for the accidents. Who else could it have been? He's a really nice kid, but he has no idea what he's doing. Unfortunately, Rose doesn't want to fire him. And there's something suspicious about him. Hmm. You mentioned Charlie was suspicious. How so? The other day, I was down in the basement working for over an hour, and suddenly he sneaks up on me. I bet he was down there the whole time, watching me. Have you seen the poem in my room? Oh, I love that poem. Listen, my child, to this story of dreams. How does the rest go? It was there when we bought the place. Nice. Do you know much about Lewis? It must be great having your own expert on Victorians. He owns Chandler Interiors, a very reputable antique store. It's I'm a gallery. Sure his clients will store. be quite interested in our bed and breakfast once they hear about our resident ghost. Why does she head and shed so much? She hates Charlie. I don't know. Because he is one of the fours. That's all I can think. How long have you known Rose? A couple of years. She has good business sense, but I think she needs to think more about advertising. Otherwise, we're just like all the other B&Bs in this town, and believe me, there's plenty of them. Yep. I saw those papers in the parlor. Where did you find them? Right in my room. They're so vintage. I'm going to ask Lewis if he can get me some antique frames for them. Rose and I can use the letters in our historical display. They've all been burned. <laughs> Does Charlie live around here? I'm not sure. He said he's between apartments. I think he said he's staying with friends until he can find a place of his own. Did the house come with a lot of furniture? There were a lot of pieces and knickknacks left behind, like the books in the study, your bed. I think it was too large to take out of the room. I heard someone crying in the hallway. Was that not you? you? I told you the spirits were interested in you. Was it a woman crying? I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Bye. I don't really want to talk to you anymore. I thought... What time is it? Almost time for her to leave. Go take a nap, I guess. Or let's go talk to... You know what? No. If I can control exactly how long I have in that place, that'll be perfect. Sometimes you just need to take a half hour nap. And I... I completely agree with that. I stand by it. Whew, it's sore. Weird, Abby. Fucking weird. Fucked up. All I need in here, right? I think so. Huh? Oh no, it's just that one. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'll talk to people if I'm stuck. I'm not yet stuck, so. Yes, Nancy. Do you think Charlie is doing a good job? Like just... Certainly. He's rough around the edges, but he's reliable and learns very him. quickly. He's just what Rose and I need. I won't keep you any longer. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. I 
music is unnecessarily tense right now. Okay, Charlie, I guess I have to talk to you. Hi, Nancy. What's up? How do you like working for Abby? She's not bad. She can be a little... How do I? There you go. Long. Long. Oh, such a big stretch. Oh, what a good girl. Oh, oh, oh yes. Pretty girl. You. Yes, you. Pretty girl. <laughs> Sorry. I knew that was just very important, and you guys would agree that it was very important. I think she gets on Rose's nerves sometimes. What do you mean? What do you mean? She always does a disappearing act whenever Rose needs her to do some work. And I think Rose is sort of had it, you know? Ah, oh, you're so Abby right. Everyone, is let's stretch, just like... Do you? I'm not like sure. Nancy. Let's just say I wouldn't rule it out. But that's oh. Abby's department, not mine. Diskette. Charlie, I found this diskette. I think it's yours. I was wondering where it was. Thanks a lot, Nancy. Luckily, I had a backup at the school. Um, let's not say we read his... Have you seen the poem in the Chinese room? Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. It almost sounds like there's a hidden message in there, you know? Had you come across any hidden passageways down here? You mean like a trap door leading to a room with skeletons or something? No, I haven't. I, that's... Is that what you think of as secret passages? Who was the last person you saw in the parlor before the fire? I've been working mostly in the basement, but I think I saw Abby go through those papers right before the fire. I'll let you get wow. back to your renovation. Later. Later. My 60s era. What's 60s about me right now? The eyelashes and the... This is more 80s. <laughs> In general. Hello. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Bye. Bitch. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely very 80s today with the falsies and the high scrunchy and the shirt that's you look like the only thing stopping you from joining a girl group is not being a girl <laughs> I don't know if that's like good or not rip Do I need to call people now? Is that what has to happen? Yes, Nancy. I won't keep you any longer. Goodbye, Nancy. I'll go talk to someone. Ugh. Says Drew, by the way. They're 555 five, five, Drew. Drew. Residents, Hannah Groon speaking. Hi, Hannah. Nancy. How are Nancy. you? Nancy. And how's Rose? Great. I'm really glad you had Rose invite me out here. Her house is so beautiful. I'm so happy you're out there. But I'm worried about all the accidents she's having. There's just been so many. What has Rose said about it? Them? Is the she doesn't say much, but I know they've become worse and worse. That's one of the reasons why I asked you to visit her to see if everything is all right. Um, Do you suspect there's something yes, more? Yes, please assume accidents? what I haven't done. <sighs> I don't know. I Rose haven't talked to Emily yet, but I don't think I have been on time, and time. I'm worried that it may be too much for her. I imagine the mansion I'm just was very clicking expensive. Whatever. Rose spent her entire life savings on the house. 
If this doesn't work out, she won't have 30 more years to earn the money back. Well, I should let you get back to your renovation work. I know, Thank I haven't been calling. able to spy on Lewis yet. There's probably no reason for concern. I'm trying to kind Be of on wait the for that. For anything unusual. Goodbye, dear. No, I, um... I have not been able to get him to leave while leaving his, uh... So I haven't been able to spy on him. He's still just here. I can't spy on him while he's just here. So. No, I don't want to call Bess. They are just so. This is Emily. Hi, Emily. It's Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew? I haven't Nancy heard from you Drew? in ages. How's Hannah in River Heights? You're not in San Francisco, are you, my dear? Actually, I am. I'm helping one of Hannah's friends, Rose Green. Actually, I am. This wonderful was... old Victorian mansion. She wants to open up a bed and breakfast. Hmm. Seems to be the trend these days. I'll bet you're staying in the Haight Ashbury district. I'm not sure. The place is located on California Lane. 4653, I think is the number. I think. You know, you're lucky you caught me at home. I've been traveling most of these days, but after that crazy tour of Egypt. By the way, riding a camel is not as easy I as I want to get to know. My editor Emily. gave me an assignment right here in town. It'll be on the Dragons of San Francisco. Dragons of San Francisco exotic. sounds exotic. What kind of dragons are you researching? Chinese dragons. My editor thought this would make a great topic for a photo essay. The dragon is a very important symbol in Chinese culture. So it seems. My room is full of Chinese decorations. Oh, sure. Many of the Victorians have rooms with themes, usually oh. colors or cultures. I once spent a night in a Victorian where each room had a bird theme. Don't laugh, but I stayed in the nuthatch room. Well, I guess that beats the turkey room. <laughs> Are there a lot of Victorian mansions here in San Francisco? After the gold rush, San Francisco had a building boom, but most of the great Victorian mansions weren't built until the late 1800s. Nowadays, it's very popular to convert them into bed and breakfasts. Were many of these mansions destroyed by earthquakes? Oh, yes. Victorian many of the builders. early Victorians Same were destroyed rooms. in the fires after the great earthquake in 1906. It's often quite difficult to find out about a house's history before that time. Oh, dear, am I talking too much? <laughs> I get so distracted at times, I tend to get carried away a bit. So how are you, Nancy? Why did you call? Is there anything I can help you out with? Can you tell me about the Let's Chinese just talk to her about system? everything. I seem to come across a lot of Chinese symbols. Oh, it doesn't surprise me. The Chinese have been an important part of San Francisco history for over a hundred years. Just the, the symbols Chinese. are called Hanzi, and each one represents a particular thing, or an idea, or an action. You find them all over on business cards, takeout cartons, artwork. Do I have to talk to her about these things? Can I just stop talking to her? I don't want to talk to her going. anymore. Goodbye, Emily. I hope we'll talk soon. I I don't want to be doing this anymore. Still here, right? Bitch. He should be gone. I guess I have to leave first. Or is he here till six? Let's talk to Rose. Hello. I can see Bitch. you, baby. I'll let you go. Bye. Yeah, okay. I was just he he wasn't leaving because I was still in that room. Gotcha. You're changing it from two and a half to one and a half. Oof. Oh, is that pain?
pain getting bad. Oh, is that pain getting real bad? To something up to something aha uh -huh. that's it aha uh -huh. yes. are you in that's there? it I'll be right there he's hiding something in his briefcase hiding it he can see you're going a little extreme I mean, like, you're right, but also... Okay, so, it is 4653. And 4868. Rick Arlen, back with a vengeance. Yeah, I don't care. start the important thing of asking everyone about them little food wait no I can just call Emily right she's the one who knows eat enough for dinner so hello so i'm just he sitting here emily foxworth speaking hello it's nancy drew hi nancy oh How my god your face coming along do you That's know all what I have the to ask words right? gumbo foo mean hmm, sounds chinese to me why don't you ask everyone what they think it means it may have something to do with the house in the meantime i'll ask my friends about it gumbo foo hey bye i should get going Goodbye, Emily. I hope we'll talk soon. But we just had roast vegetables and a little bit of pasta for dinner, and so now my stomach is like, excuse me. Okay, now he's just come to take his briefcase. Fine. That's fine. Okay, well.
Well, we have, like, enough left over for a stream tomorrow, so I'm just gonna stop right now because my back is starting to hurt quite a bit. So, let's find... Save here. Let's find someone to raid. I just have to pull up. Hello. Okay. Find me later. Um, who are we gonna raid? Let's raid. Amanda on Maui is playing Stardew Valley. Um, we want to watch some. Yes, the wax stickers are up for the month. So. Um, but let's go watch some Stardew, maybe? How are we feeling about that? Yeah, let's do it. Um, because I'm not in the mood to go searching for someone else playing Nancy Drew. Um, so thank you guys for coming. Uh, it was a great show show stream so bye out y'all